Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle. And that is my husband, Ed, back there, right there. And my dog's over there somewhere playing in the water. And there's an eagle flying in the sky. If it comes back over here, I'm gonna try to get a video clip of it. I love sitting out here and watching these eagles. Pretty amazing. But today, um, we are on vacation still. It is the middle of the week. We were talking earlier this morning. What day is it? <laughs> it is Wednesday. And um, we are in the last week of our fitness challenge. And we've been getting a lot of fitness up here. We've been walking, we've been paddle boarding, just walking around the grounds here, just going uh, climbing stairs and doing a lot of different things than we normally do back home. We've been really just um, getting a lot of activity. Um, I don't have my watch on me right now, so I don't even know what time it is. It's early in the morning. We've already had some coffee this morning, and I have some water here with me on the dock, and just sitting here and enjoying the morning. Today, we're just going to be taking you along with us, showing you what we eat throughout the day on a keto diet, staying under 20 total carbs a day, and we are just going to be showing you our, our activity if we go for a walk, whatever we do, I'm getting ready right now to go get the paddleboard out while the water is calm. That is the best time for me to do it because I'm a beginner. And I'm going to paddle around a little bit. And I don't know what else we're going to be doing today. So just stay tuned and I will show you what we're doing today. I'll see you in a little bit. That is an eagle. That's the eagle that I was talking about flying around the lake. Love sitting out here watching them. She comes, she made it. She fought the win and won. I can look around. I don't have to focus so much. You look like you're a lot more sturdy on it. I yeah, I can't believe it. This has been so much fun. Watch me fall in right now. I did it. Man. That wind, when I was coming back, was like lapping up underneath of it and lifting it. And I didn't know, I think I was going to be able to come back. I thought I was going to have to like get down and... I was going to come tow you with the jet ski. <laughs> that was awesome. <sighs> Don't forget your lanyard. <sighs> I went really far up. I mean, to me. That was good. <laughs> you had control. You were turning and everything. Fighting the wind. My legs are shaking like... But it's, it's really something to be able to just look around mm -hmm. and still be able to balance. Before, I couldn't. I had to keep my focus, like, on a line, you know? Right. And uh, on the horizon, like. But now I can, like, look around a little bit. I can feel it's getting better and better. Yay! Okay, so you all remember when I did a review on this knife. This is the Inoking. I call it a cleaver. It's a very sharp knife. <laughs> And so they sent me another knife. And look at this. Look how it's packaged. That's opening it up for me here. And look at that. This is a kitchen knife, a chef knife. This is a nine inch. I believe it's the nine inch blade. There's a couple different ones. So we're going to go ahead and try this knife today. Ed is making breakfast. And he's going to, can you turn that light on right there under the, he is going to slice up some onions. Wow, it's really like butter. Don't cut yourself. <laughs> it's really sharp. It's just effortless. I like the, I like the pattern on that knife. Sweet. So, um, you like it? I do. I always like a sharp knife. This is exceptionally sharp. Yeah. The handle is wooden. I mean, I'm barely, barely pushing through. It's yeah. Great. 
cutting through the yeah. this is steak from yesterday that we grilled and it's been in the refrigerator oh, it's cold that's, that's gravy that's great so i mean give us a view of it with the yeah. handle wooden handle give it a thumbs up all right very nice knife okay so we are about to eat breakfast ed just made an amazing breakfast as and, usual <laughs> as usual i'm going to show you what we're having so Look at that. Mm -hmm. Chaffle. These are just uh, basic chaffles. And I used that farm dust seasoning in the chaffles. And then... I used it in the eggs. You put too. it in the eggs too? Mm -hmm. And then um, eggs scrambled and some breakfast sausage. A little, and little extra done breakfast sausage, but... That's okay. I kind of like so it that way. It does. And then um, these big old strawberries and coffee. And look at that. Put all them. Look, I put all. I don't know how it's going to be eaten this because I put all my eggs on here. Oh, wow. But, anyways. It's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good. You're great. Okay. Coffee, collagen, heavy cream, black coffee. We're going to eat. See you later. Okay. So, I just came down here. I'm so excited. I just came down here to the lake trying to get these eagles on camera. And I was sitting in the house for a minute and one of them flew over here right over our trees and right in front of our big window, the big windows up there. And it was gigantic. Like I've never seen one that close up before. It's as big as my, our table that we have up there on the deck. It was gigantic. And um, it flew in and landed in a tree and I got a little bit of footage. I sound so just don't pay attention to me. I was so excited when it came in. I grabbed my phone and I got a little bit of footage of it, but I came down here to see if I could catch it again, but I think that it's gone. So anyways, I'll roll the footage of what I saw from inside the house and it's amazing. Oh my, there he goes. Oh my. Okay, so we are getting close to dinner time, and Ed is getting the Kamado going, getting it heated up. We're gonna grill some burgers, and I made some sun tea. This has been sitting outside brewing in the hot sun all day long, and look at that nice dark rich color. I just used some Lipton tea bags, the black tea bags, and I used six of them in here. This is almost, um, I'm not sure if this is a gallon or two gallons. I'm not really sure, but I want to say it is a gallon. I put in one cup of monk fruit in here and I'm just um, stirring it to dissolve. So I just put some ice in here and I'm just gonna keep stirring it. The tea was actually really warm when we brought it in. It's been in the hot sun all day. So I am just going to pour some of this over some ice and look how fast that ice dissolved. That's how hot this liquid was from sitting out in the sun. So we are gonna get some burgers out on the grill and we'll be back. So earlier I showed you this knife from Inno King that Ed was using to use uh, to chop up the food for breakfast. And I am slicing up tomatoes right now. And this thing is so sharp. I really, really, really love a good sharp knife. And I can slice these tomatoes really nice and thin. I'm gonna slice up some mozzarella with this. And we're gonna have tomatoes and mozzarella. And it works, look at that. So good, just slices right through. I will put the link down. The link for this knife is down in the description. It is on Amazon and it is very affordable. And I really am enjoying using this knife. Very, very nice. And slice this up. And we're gonna have some nice mozzarella to serve with our tomatoes. Very, very nice. Look 
Okay, I'm gonna get this plated up. See you soon. I'm gonna show you how I make my Caesar salad. I like to make mine in a wooden bowl, like this one that I thrifted, this amazing old wooden bowl. I put in a little bit of olive oil and I sprinkle in some salt. And then I have a crushed garlic clo clove here and I just rub the garlic clove all into the oil and in the salt. The salt acts like an abrasive and it just gets the flavors of the garlic out into this, you know, the bowl so that when you toss the salad in there, you pick up the garlic flavors. And so simple. And then I take this and I just chop it up and throw it in the bowl with my knife, this really cool Inno-King knife. And I just throw that in there. And then I have some chopped romaine here. Just throw that in the bowl. This is one head of romaine. I would highly suggest you guys try this exactly the way she does it. This is by far my favorite salad now really good and then i have some caesar dressing here that i made uh, a couple days ago like my fancy storage mm. container <laughs> and i'm just going to put this over the lettuce it's kind of thickened up because it's been sitting in the fridge and i have some shredded parmesan and sprinkle that in there with it and then take some tongs. What? I was going to spatula it out. Oh. And then get every last drop of this stuff. Yeah. I'm going to put it on the top. And then I'm just going to toss it. You could throw more in there. Ed likes the Caesar dressing. I love this salad. You guys are so good. Are the burgers already on the grill? Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna be eating soon. No time, no time at all. And then sprinkle a little more of that cheese. And it is, <laughs> might as well. <laughs> Let's just have a party here. Yay. Okay. <laughs> and that is how I dress a Caesar salad. I'll be you back. Know, what? Try this. What? The okay. We'll see you at the dinner table outside. Okay. Burgers are going on the Kamado. Looks delicious. Flame broiled. And I have right here, we made a Capri salad. Tomato slices with some mozzarella, a little bit of olive oil, and just a little drizzle of balsamic vinegar because balsamic vinegar is high in sugar. So I just did a really light drizzle and then we put farm dust on top huh. and some tea. I got some of my sweet tea here, Caesar salad, sugar-free ketchup, mustard, pickles. Looks so good. Can't wait. We gotta get the cheese for the burgers. Getting ready to eat dinner. Oops. So we're getting ready to eat dinner. I love eating dinner outside, but back home, we never eat dinner outside. We don't even have a table and chairs outside. It's the city and we're close to, you know, we're in the city. We just have a lot of sounds around us and it's just not relaxing like here. And so we really enjoy eating outside when we're here. And you get a lake view today because the Kamado is over where I usually sit. And I'm sure you don't mind having that view over there. Let's get ready to put the cheese on the burgers. Cheese. And I think I'm going to go ahead and have some salad while I wait for the burgers. This tea. I'm going to try this tea. I'd put some um, mayo, mayo lemonade, lemonade drops in his tea. Did you like it? Yes. It was good. I just have... Um, the tea with the monk, the monk fruit sweetener, and that's all some ice. So good.
Is it lemony? It's so good. It's really it's good. It's like an Arnie Palmer. Yeah, it's really good if you put um, like fresh sliced lemon in there, but I didn't have any. <sighs> so I'm getting ready to, Details. Getting ready to have some Caesar salad. It's extra juicy this time. I like that. Yeah, I put, um, he put all that dressing on there. So decadent. That's like, just goes so good with the meat. Mm hmm. I'm going to go ahead and have some of this Capri salad. Lord bless it. Jesus name. I know. We're just digging in without saying our prayers. Okay. Capri salad. Mm. So good. This is really good too. Oh. It's like better than any restaurant. You like my tray? Got it at a thrift store. I got a couple different sizes at the thrift store. That's not the one you had bacon on, is it? No, that one's the same. I got them both on the same day. One's a lot shorter. Hmm. I think they're from uh, Pottery Barn or Pier 1 Import. One of those places. Um, I can't flip it over to see, but mm. one of my mm -hmm. thrift store finds. Mm -hmm. So when we get our burgers here, I'll show you what they look like. They're not smash burgers. You know how we do the smash burgers on the Blackstone? They're just regular grilled burgers, but that's okay. We that's don't have regular. We don't have a um got Blackstone. A rough, a rough little, yeah. We don't have a Blackstone up here. Our neighbors just got one. Laura, if you're watching, we were thinking about going over <laughs> there <laughs> and using their little Blackstone, making us some smash burgers, but we didn't. Maybe next time. Yeah, they probably wouldn't mind. All right, so this is the burgers. I'm stuck on the salad. I know. I'm gonna put some sugar-free ketchup. So, I have a mandolin at home. I've discovered that I like thin sliced pickles. I buy the big pickles, the, the whole pickles, and I slice them on my mandolin and get them really thin, and I just like them that way. So I brought some from home. Hard. Love it. A little ketchup, primal on my burgers. Whoa, too much. A little mustard. Whoa, too much. Perfect. And that's dinner. Hi, Anna. Oh, yeah. We had a really good meal. So good. You know, it really, what was it, a tube of hamburger or some vegetables? We used a pound of hamburger. We always split a pound of hamburger. And I just used a couple tomatoes and a little mozzarella cheese ball, some lettuce. We were just saying that we don't miss the bread at all. We're trained that we have to have bread on the table and um, pasta and all of those things. And when you eat this kind of food, you don't need those things. Nope. You fill up. A lot of times when I used to eat bread at restaurants, I would eat the bread, you know, that they, they brought you. And then I would be so full that I didn't want to eat my dinner. And this is nutritious mm -hmm. and it's filling. And I mean, it look stays at, with you a long time. Look at the spread we have here. And we have no bread on the table. We have no pasta. And we are going to feel really good after we get done eating. It's really amazing. What a great way to live. Mm -hmm. Cut. See you soon. <laughs> That's better. All right, dinner was so good. And we are having some good chocolate. This is the dark chocolate, salted dark, salted dark chocolate. It looks like it's got some kind of little nuts in it or something, I don't know. Almond. So, tea was good. Mm -hmm. Chocolate's Perfect. good. Been a great day. It's so, a good burger. Good burger. Good everything. Everything was good today. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for tonight. Relax and enjoy the evening. <laughs> I was waiting for that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. See you tomorrow. Have a great day and God bless.